Hey crafty friends, welcome back. Today we are headed somewhere I've never been before despite being a native Californian and a total California girl at heart. I have never been to Joshua Tree National Park and as y'all know, part of these USA adventures are to visit some national parks, especially ones I haven't been to. So that's what we're doing today. Now, some of y'all may know this about me, but my sun sign is Cancer, so I'm a total water baby, but I also really love the desert. I just love the cold desert landscape, the rock formations, like the little critters, the really interesting plants the desert usually has, you know, because they have to adapt with no water. So I just love the desert so much. I don't think that Joshua Tree is super dog friendly, which is fine. So the plan is just to start at one end of the park and drive kind of through it and come out the other end and then head on our merry way. <laughs> The plan is to stay in Quartzsite, Arizona for the night. Um, if you all have seen my RTR Nomad Meetup video, that took place in Quartzsite, so I knew it was a good place to stop over. And then we are going to head up into Northern Arizona. We're kind of retracing the steps that Archie and I took on a road trip in the fall, but I didn't film any of that with you guys. So I wanted to share some of our favorite places, starting with the Montezuma Castle situation. It's like an indigenous cliff dwelling thing, and it's amazing. It's super dog friendly there. Archie loves it because there's so much stuff to smell. I love the like ruins type things, so I'm super stoked to be able to share that with you guys. There's a really cool river and stuff that they used to use, you know, for water purposes, <laughs> like growing things and drinking and all that. And if y'all ever find yourself on the highway between Phoenix and Flagstaff, the Montezuma Castle area is great to get out and like stretch your legs and walk your dog. <laughs> so definitely stop and check it out. And then I think what we're going to do is stay the night at a rest area in I think McGuireville is what it's called. So we'll do that and that'll be fine. We stay there before so I know it's safe and then I think the next day we're going to go up to Sedona. Now, like I said, Archie and I have been to Sedona before. I found that the town itself was not super doggo friendly which is really annoying because it seems like a really cool like artsy fartsy like hippie town i don't know there's like a lot of crystal shops and stuff i would love to go into but alas doggo is not allowed there is also the only um turquoise arches mcdonald's in sedona so gotta hit that up right i mean can't not but then we are going to go to the crescent moon ranch like day area i guess it is anyway you pay to get in but then you have like free reign over this whole huge area. There's like red rocks everywhere and a river crossing and it's just really beautiful. You get this gorgeous view of the cathedral rock situation. There's a little bit of hiking and this place is dog friendly. <laughs> so it's mine and Archie's favorite place in Sedona. So again, if you guys get a chance to check it out, I highly recommend. And then at some point on this trip, I need to do a bit of errands. So I need to mail some postcards to crafty club members that are at that membership level. So I gotta do that somewhere. I'm thinking Sedona would be a fun place to do that, get a fun postmark. And then I also need to get some groceries 
in Flagstaff. So what I do, y'all, is I order them online and then I go and pick them up. I have them bring them to me in my car. And that's amazing, especially when you're traveling with a dog. It saves you from having to leave the dog in the car, which is not my favorite thing. So yeah, so we'll do that at Target and then we'll find somewhere at a rest area or something on the way to New Mexico to stop for the night. That's kind of the plan. I hope you guys enjoy this video and seeing what all we did. Thank you so much for your support and subscribing and doing all the things. It means that Archie and I get to continue our adventures and keep sharing them with y'all. So thank you guys so much and we will see y'all in New Mexico next. Bye friends.